Today I'm gonna to go through a full tutorial of getting an Etsy shop set up with print on demand. Let's do it. Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here and we haven't met before, my name's Kerry and I wanna say hello and welcome. On this channel, we bring you the best strategies, secrets, and hacks to grow your online t-shirt, apparel, or print-on-demand business. Today's video is something I'm very excited about and that is Etsy. I think Etsy is an incredible opportunity for most people out there, whether you just wanna start a side hustle just on Etsy or if you wanna add Etsy as a complement to your Shopify store or your existing e-commerce store, I think in both both scenarios, Etsy is a great platform to add and it can bring you some additional sales with minimal work or it can be your main thing. It can bring in sales uh, and you can sell primarily as an Etsy seller. And today we're also going to talk about how to connect it up with print on demand and use print on demand as your fulfillment source source through your Etsy account. So I'm excited about that. And I want to walk you through step by step how to get all this set up, how to get your listings optimized and start bringing in some sales. The first thing we want to do is just set up a regular Etsy account. Now, once we have an Etsy account, that'll allow us to shop on Etsy and it'll also allow us to open a shop to actually sell on Etsy. You might already have an existing Etsy account. It's perfectly fine. You can use that one or you can set up a new one but I'm gonna click on the sign in button and then we're gonna click the register button and that's gonna have us put in a few details to set up an Etsy account now that we've got an Etsy account set up if you click on this little guy up here at the top you'll see this button that says sell on Etsy now to sell on Etsy it is 20 cents per listing that you create so you have a have to pay a 20 cent fee every time you list on Etsy. So instead of clicking there, if you wanna get your first 40 listings for free, use the link down in the description and click on that in the description and that will take you over to here and you can actually open a shop here and that will give you your first 40 items that you list for free so you don't have to pay that 20 cent uh, fee. So you wanna be logged into your Etsy account, click that link in the description and then click open a shop today. All right, once you've opened your shop, that's gonna take you to this screen and you're just gonna have to go through a few quick details to get your shop set up. So we'll click on let's do this. What brings you to Etsy? Uh, I'm just starting to sell, first time ever. We'll click on next. This stuff isn't really important, but we'll go through it uh, just real quick. So we can skip this part um, and we can click start your shop. Okay, next it's gonna take us over to shop preferences. So obviously you're gonna select the country you're in, the language and the shop currency. All of this looks good here. I just wanna make sure all that's good. And I'm just gonna click on save and continue. Next, we need to put in a shop name. Not a super important name that you have like a cool, crazy name. After you create your shop, it's gonna make you create a listing right off the bat. Now this listing doesn't actually matter. You don't even need to make it anything crazy. Just put a bunch of details in here and get past this part because we're actually gonna be creating our listings inside the print on demand app. So we're gonna quickly just brush through this fill out the details and get through this part. Okay, once you've filled out just all the details there, and again, it doesn't really matter matter what you put in that last part. I just put in a fake picture, a bunch of just random text just to get those, those parts filled out. Uh, after you've done that, it's gonna take you here to how you'll get paid. So you're gonna select whether you're an individual or a business. Now, some of you watching, if you have a Shopify store already, obviously you're gonna select business here but most people are gonna fall into the individual category and you can claim all this on your personal tax return. So you can definitely do this as an individual. You're just gonna fill out this information. This is pretty self-explanatory here. You're gonna need to put in a bank account to make sure you can get paid. So I'm gonna do that real quick and we'll get back into it. Okay, we have gone through the somewhat strenuous process of getting everything set up, connecting our bank, entering a credit card for billing, uh, we went through two-factor authentication, so it was a little bit of a strenuous process, but we finally made it to the shop. So what you see right here on the shop is you see this test product that I set up. Again, that doesn't matter. We'll delete it. We don't need it, so don't worry about that. Hopefully, you just put in some random stuff, just like I did to get this kind of test product here. The first thing we need to do is we need to edit our shop a little bit. We need to make our shop uh, look a little better. So we're going to click on this edit shop button. We just wanna do a few quick things to make this look a little more professional. So you're gonna to wanna to upload a banner. If we click on that, it will let us upload a big banner or a mini banner. We can do that from our computer. So we can do like big banner right here, click on done, and it'll let us add an image there. Now you can make a banner in something like Canva or place it or even in Photoshop. So you see I've added a banner there. I just added a background for my computer. The other things you want, you'll want to make sure you fill out. You'll want to make sure that you upload a shop icon right here. Uh, so you upload a shop icon there. You'll also want to make sure you upload a picture here 
just to make your store look a little bit more professional. And the last thing I would do kind of at minimum is just add a shop title right here, describe your uh, shop in one sentence. So make sure you add those things. You don't need to do anything too complex. Just make sure you add those few things to make your shop look a little more professional as you're getting started. The next thing we want to do is we actually want to set up awkward styles and then connect awkward styles over to our Etsy shop. Now, why awkward styles? Well, there are many print on demand providers, but not all of them will actually connect up to Etsy. So awkward styles has a native Etsy integration, which is really awesome. So you get to take advantage of all the the benefits of awkward styles they have awesome quality they have really good product selection and they have some of the best prices in the industry so you've probably seen on the channel I've done some different review videos and I'll link those down in the description if you want to learn more about awkward styles but I would highly recommend them as a print-on-demand partner for you in your Etsy shop also they've extended a 90-day free trial on their pro plan when you use my link down in the, in the description and you also use the discount code carry when you upgrade your account so you get 90 days free on the pro plan that's gonna give you up to 20% off most products and it's gonna let you integrate multiple stores so if you have multiple Etsy shops or you have a Shopify store or whatever the case may be, you can connect those up to the same account. So once you click the link down in the description or go over to shirtschool.com slash POD, that's gonna take you here and you're gonna click on the sign up button. Now, once you've signed up for Awkward Styles and you've got your account open, you're gonna see something that looks like this, your dashboard, and we're gonna wanna integrate our Etsy shop that we've just created. So we're gonna click on integrations. You see Etsy there, you'll see Shopify WooCommerce. We're gonna click on connect under Etsy and then it's gonna take us over to Etsy and we're just gonna need to allow access and that's gonna connect up our Etsy shop and our Awkward Styles account. Now we're back in Awkward Styles and you see I already had a shop integrated here, but now we have Carrie's Apparel Shop, which is the shop I just set up and that is integrated here in Awkward Styles. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take advantage of the 90 days free on the pro plan. Again, that's gonna give you up to 20% off most of their products and that's the biggest benefit of being on that pro plan and you can take advantage of it for 90 full days. So what you need to do to get on that plan with the 90 days free is click on billing right down here. We're gonna click on payment. That's gonna take us here. The net, you're gonna see free plan, that's what you're gonna be on right now. Then you're gonna see Awkward Styles Pro. But what you wanna do is enter the discount code right here, carry, and then hit apply. That's gonna bring up this, uh, this right here, this window. It says enjoy 60 days free trial. Now you're automatically gonna get 30 days and the discount code is gonna give you an additional 60 days. After that 60 days is up, then you will be billed $25 a month for the pro plan or you can uh, downgrade back to the free plan, whatever you want to do. That's perfectly fine. You can also pay yearly. We're going to click on monthly 25 a month, click upgrade now. And it's going to need us to actually add in our credit card and actually put that on file. Now, after the 90 days is up, it will bill your credit card. So just be aware of that. But I think this is a really great deal and a really great opportunity for you to get started, get your first few sales using Awkward Styles and being able to take advantage of those juicy low prices. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to add a production partner inside our Etsy account. This is gonna tell Etsy why we're using Awkward Styles and kind of just let them know what Awkward Styles is. So we're gonna click over here on settings. We're gonna click on production partners and we're gonna add a new production partner. This is gonna be Awkward Styles. So we're gonna add that in here. The city, state, and crunchy, we're gonna put uh, Los Angeles. It's where they are located. So we'll put that there, Los Angeles, California. About production partners. So it says, help buyers understand what this partner does for you. Keep this description general. So we're gonna keep this pretty basic, but we're just gonna say uh, fulfillment and print. Let's see if I can spell right. We're gonna put fulfillment and print on demand company uh, for uh, printing and let's see, pr uh, we'll just put print on demand, print on demand company for printing and fulfilling our merchandise. Something along those lines, right? Just to, uh, to put something in there. All right. About your partnership. Why are you working with this partner? I don't have the technical ability or equipment to make it happen myself. What is your role in the design process? I design everything myself. What is this partner's role in the design process? Uh, and we're going to put, they do everything for me. Save partner. And boom, we've got them saved. Now that we've got the production partner saved, we're ready to move to the next step. And that is actually making our products, actually getting products from Awkward Styles into our Etsy shop. So we're gonna pop over to our Awkward Styles dashboard and we're gonna wanna click on the product catalog over here on the left. 
This is gonna bring you to all the products that Awkward Styles offers. We're gonna click on men's clothing and we're just gonna do t-shirts. There's a lot of different brands, a lot of different types of t-shirts that Awkward Styles offers, but I'm gonna click on the Lane 7 Unisex Deluxe T-shirt coming in at $9.29. This Lane 7 stuff is really high quality, really good stuff. I've been using it a lot lately and I've been really happy with it. So that's what I'm gonna use for this demonstration. So I'm gonna click on that. It's gonna take us over to the product creation part of Awkward Styles. The first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to upload a design. Well, again, we can either upload our own design or we can get a design from the Awkward Styles library. We can pay for one that has already been created by a pro designer. I'm gonna click on your library because I already have a bunch of stuff in here and I'm just gonna click on this Oklahoma mosaic design. That's gonna pop into my mock-up here. I'm gonna need to place it on my t-shirt where I want it, so I'm gonna place it about there. I'm gonna select what colors I'm gonna, I want to sell in my Etsy, on my Etsy listing. So down here, I'm gonna select light colors to start and I'm just gonna make sure that I like all these colors. I don't like that color. So I'm gonna stick with, let's see, probably, that one actually looks kinda cool. We've got gray, kind of a heather gray. I'm gonna get rid of the olive. So we're gonna stick with white, the yellow, and the heather gray. I'm gonna select all sizes. I'm gonna hit create template. That's gonna pop up a little pop-up here and I wanna create, I wanna hit upload product. This is actually gonna get the product over to my Etsy shop. It's gonna pop this up and I wanna do this one right here because this is my Etsy shop. You'll probably just see one. I just happen to have two in this account. So I'm gonna click on upload. That's gonna take me over to the final product creation area to get this product into my Etsy shop. So the first thing we have is our mock-ups. We can choose a model or a flat mock-up. One thing to note is that some of these mock-ups will be different you have different options depending on which t-shirt you select. Inside Awkward Styles, they have different mock-ups depending on the product. Some products have videos, some products have you know a person and a flat lay, some don't. So this Lane 7 has some of the better mock-ups. And so we're gonna, I'm just gonna select this person here. That's fine with me. We're gonna go down, we can title it, we can put in a description, we can start to add tags, uh, we can do shop sections, shipping profile, a lot of stuff that we can do here but we can also edit this stuff once we get over into Etsy. So depending on how you wanna do it, we're gonna talk about tags and that kind of thing, but I'm gonna do it over in Etsy. And so I'm just gonna click on the upload product button to get this to my Etsy shop. Once that upload button is clicked, you'll see that it's publishing here. So we'll wait just a second to let that publish and then we'll look at the listing. Now we're back in Etsy and look what we've got. We've got a brand new product here. So this product is ready to start selling. It is in our Etsy store and this can be fulfilled by Awkward Styles when we make some sales, that's pretty exciting. You can repeat this process to create all the products you wanna create inside Awkward Styles and get them over to your Etsy shop. The next thing we need to do is we need to fill out our product description and all the details about our product. And this is one of the most important things on Etsy that you need to do for a couple of reasons. Etsy is a search-based platform, which means people are going and searching keywords and that's how they're going to find your products. So it's super important these three things. Number one, the mock-up. You wanna pick a mock-up that's not just the standard mock-up, but actually stands out from the rest of the listings, and I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. And then you wanna pay really close attention to your title and the tags. The title and the tags are gonna be the keywords that will match your listing up to what people are searching. For example, if they search Father's Day t-shirt, you wanna make sure and have that in your title and your tags if it's a Father's Day t-shirt to help your uh, product rank in the search. Let's talk about mock-ups real quick. So the first thing is I just wanna give you a couple resources for mock-ups. Actually, one of the really great places to get mock-ups is on Etsy, oddly enough. You can buy these mock-up bundles as low as you know five or six bucks, and you can get these really high-end mock-ups from Etsy. The only problem with doing that is that a lot of Etsy sellers are using these mock-ups already, so it might blend in with what's already there, and that can be a good or a bad thing, and I would encourage you to just test those mock-ups and see you know, what performs the best. Another thing you can do is use a tool like Placeit. Placeit's gonna give you realistic mock-ups of people wearing your t-shirts. I'll leave a link down in the description for Placeit if you wanna sign up. But Placeit's a really good tool. It does a lot more than mock-ups, but this is another place you can get mock-ups. And the last thing I wanna tell you is, you know, if you go as far as to buy the t-shirt, 
get it in and actually take pictures of a person in it, this can really help boost your sales, having an actual picture, you know, designed and taken exactly how you want it. And that can really help you stand out. So those are three options when it comes to the mock-up, but you do want to definitely have a really nice mock-up for Etsy. This is a really important thing to stand out. The next thing I want to talk about is the title because we need to fill that out. Now, using this as an example, this is like this Oklahoma mosaic t-shirt okay we want you can read right here it says include keywords that buyers would use to search for your item so you want to make sure you have keywords that people are already searching so the best way to do that and figure out what keywords work is simply to go to etsy and start searching for similar t-shirts maybe in in the similar kind of niche so if i just put in oklahoma t-shirts right here usually on the top you're going to see ads so you see Add by Etsy seller, add by Etsy seller. You see that right there. So we want to scroll down just a little bit more. And what we really want to pay attention to are these ones that have a lot of reviews right here. You see this one has 2,000. This one has 311, 100, 100, uh, 2,000 here. So you might want to look at what are in these titles of these t-shirts that are really selling. So for instance, let's just click on this one right here to kind of see what we've got. So this is the title. We see vintage Oklahoma shirt. Oklahoma fan crew net shirt, distressed Oklahoma shirt. So some of these might help us, but that really doesn't fit with what we're selling, but that does give us some ideas for keywords. Let's go up and let's go to, uh, skip past the ad. Let's go to this one right here. 2000 reviews, let's click on that one. And so this one we have Oklahoma state shirts, Oklahoma t-shirt, home state shirt, Oklahoma pride gift, uh, all that kind of, so those are actually really good. We have gift in there. We have Oklahoma pride, which, you know, this, ours kind of fits with that, right? If you're proud to live in Oklahoma, you might wear our shirt. Home state shirt could be something that people are looking for. Oklahoma state shirt. So this is actually really good. So I might actually copy this one and put that right into my uh, description. If I can go back to my Etsy listing, pop that in there, that gives us some ideas. Now I wouldn't recommend just copying it word for word, you know, do more research than that but that gives us some ideas on the title and these all pretty much fit with what we're doing, but we could continue to go through here and look at a few more of these. Maybe this one that has 311, we could click on that and see if there's anything else here. So uh, they've got unisex graphic tee. That might be a little bit too uh, general, but Oki flag shirt might work, you know, those kind of things. But what we're seeing on some of these top uh, listings is that we want to make sure we have gift in there, Oklahoma pride, Oklahoma, a t shirt, those kind of things for this. You might see if it is for a holiday, you might see like Mother's Day gift, Father's Day gift, those kind of things, Christmas gift, you know, those kind of things you might want to include in your listing. But you also want to put things in the tag section. So if we scroll down just a little bit, most of this is pretty self explanatory to put in. But if we go down to where the tags are right here, we can put 13 tags right here. And this is basically the same thing as our title. It's kind of an extension of that. It's just different tags that people would be searching. So if we go out to these titles and we find more tags, we can put them all in here in the tag section and that will help our listing rank. Most of the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. You can pick the category, your primary color. Uh, you can fill all this stuff out. You can pick an occasion, which can be really helpful if there is an occasion, but I wouldn't recommend picking an occasion if, it does, if the, the product does not actually have an occasion. You see some of those options here. Uh, also holiday, we can fill out our product description. This does not really help your search ranking from what I've learned. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to it. You definitely wanna have a good product description, but it's not gonna help you rank in search. Uh, we wanna make sure we pick Awkward Styles as our production partner, put in our tags as we talked about. And we also wanna edit our price down here. So this is where we can actually put in our pricing. You wanna pay attention back in Awkward Styles how much you're paying for each item and what your markup is here. And you can actually set your default markup inside Awkward Styles. If you click on integrations, you uh, actually, you click on stores, my apologies, click on stores. You go right here to this store right here. We can click on settings and we can actually go to advanced and right here we can put in our default markup. So if we wanted to do like a 50% or a 60% markup, we could do that right here. You see that this item came over at 1638, which was a 40% mark markup. You're probably gonna wanna do at least 50, 60%, or maybe even more, depending on what product you're using, but that will automatically mark it up for you. But you can also set it yourself right here in the listing. Like we could just set this to like 24.99 if we want, and we could just put that all throughout here. So that's pretty, pretty easy. 
Um, and other than that, you might want to put in the item weight uh, here, but that's it. We can just hit publish and we've got it ready to go. So now that you've created your products and as long as you've set up great mockups, you've really dialed in your title and your tags, that will likely get you some sales from search. As long as you're paying attention to trends, you're putting up items that, you know, have kind of trending designs or things that people are actually searching. That's the big key. But there's one more thing you can do to really boost your sales and that's using Etsy ads. There are two types of ads that you can run on Etsy, and I wanna talk you through those now. There is on-site ads and off-site ads. They're pretty easy to understand because the name kinda of says it all. On-site ads give Etsy the ability to run ads on their website for you. So just like we saw earlier, if we go back to our Oklahoma t-shirt uh, search right here, these top ones are Etsy ads, and these sellers have given Etsy permission to put ads on Etsy when their keywords are searched. So this is basically just gonna bump you to the top of those of that search. Now, what you wanna be careful of is Etsy charges you per click on your listing. So these can be unprofitable sometimes. I would recommend testing it because I have had students that have had success with the on-site ads. What you wanna do is you simply wanna to go to marketing, you wanna to go to Etsy ads, and really all you need to do is just turn these on. You can set a budget, uh, but we just wanna do like reach new buyers, set your budget. We can do $1 a day, $5 a day, $25 a day. We'll just do $5 a day. We hit that in here and that's pretty much it, right? They can just run ads on Etsy, but remember you're gonna pay per click. So again, you could just be paying for clicks but not getting sales. So this is something you wanna test. You, it says right here uh, that you wanna make sure and give it about 30 days, you see that right here? So you might wanna give it some time, see how it performs, but this could be something you may or may not wanna use as far as on-site ads. But next, that brings us to off-site ads. Now, off-site ads, again, just like the name sounds, means that you're allowing Etsy to run ads on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and outside of Etsy to promote your products. Now, in my opinion, everyone should use this. There is no reason not to use off-site ads. The reason being is because Etsy is only going to charge you a small fee when they actually get you a sale, and that's pretty exciting. So you're only gonna pay a fee if you actually get a sale. So the only thing you wanna be aware of is you wanna make sure that you have enough margin to cover those fees in your products when you're creating your products. I believe the fees are around 15%. So if you have uh, enough, mar if you're doing a 50, 60% margin, you're still gonna have some profit left after those ads. Uh, but offsite ads are really a no brainer. So I wanna show you what to do with that. There's actually nothing you need to do, but I wanna show you where to find them because they turn them on by default. So you can go here to settings, you can, uh, then you click on offsite ads and you'll see right here that they are automatically on. Now you can click stop promoting my products, but again, there's no reason to do that unless you just don't have the margin to cover the fee. You see right here, it's a 15% ad fee. So for instance, if you're selling you know, a $25 product and let's say you have you know, $15 worth of margin, they're gonna take 15% of that $25. So that's gonna leave you, you know, with somewhere around, that's gonna, it's gonna take around three or $4 of that sale to pay a fee back to Etsy. And I would just tell you from experience in running my own ads, like for Shopify stores and those kind of things, that's a really low fee. So I would absolutely take advantage of this. It's a, probably a lot better results than you'll get running ads on your own because you get to take advantage of Etsy's pro marketing team and all of their AI and different things that they're using. So I would definitely keep the on offsite ads on because they're kind of a no brainer. There's no reason not to because you're only gonna pay when you get a sale. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today and you learned something. As a reminder, if you wanna take advantage of 40 listings for free, use the Etsy link down in the description and also use the Awkward Styles link with the discount code Carry if you wanna get 90 days free on their pro plan. Also make sure you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. That helps us out a ton and it also helps to get this video out to more people. So if you wanna lend a hand in just helping spread this information to help more people, just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be a huge help. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.